Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Noah Shaw or Ford 6 Pro. And today we have my 2021 F-250 any level lift sitting behind me that we're going to be installing my full length bolt-on rear lights available on www.primemotorcompany.com slash shop. We're also going to be installing the two smaller bars that go in the middle section of the grill called the 214 inch kit. So let's go ahead, dive right into today's video and get started on this install process. So first things first, let's go ahead and drop this any level look down and make it a little bit easier to work on and access the grill. And just like that, it just makes it so much easier having that any level lift to now be able to access the top of the grill, open the engine bay, and let's get to work on taking this factory grill out. And the first thing I went ahead and did is on the top of the grill, there's a ton of push pins that you just use a trim tool or a flathead on to lift up like that. And I went ahead and skipped that process just because it's super long, but just get all of those little trim pieces that hold down this top cover off first. And after you finish that process, we can just go ahead and start to carefully lift up the entire assembly, just like so set it out of the way and now with the top plastic off that exposes the six 10 millimeter bolts on the top holding in the grill that we'll use our impact on and then from the back side here we've got a 10 millimeter nut right here that we have to remove to get this part of the grill on each end able to pop out first thing i'm going to do is grab a 10 millimeter socket on the impact and get the top six bolts off And then on each end, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a 10 millimeter with a small ratchet to get the nuts off on the back side, just like so. Once you get it loose enough, you can just go ahead and untighten it by hand and set that one nut aside and repeat the process on the driver's side. We're just going to go ahead, slide over the bolt, get the nut off on the back. Slide that nut off now, just like that. Now that we have the whole top of the grill unbolted, a lot of people don't know, but on the lariat section, we got this whole bottom trim piece that we actually have to pop the whole painted piece off. Sometimes it'll be chrome for y'all, but on the King Ranches and the Platinums, you'll just have a black little plastic tab that you pop off to expose the bolts. But these ones are actually completely covered, so people try to pop off the grill, and they don't know that there's a bolt on each side as well. So let's go ahead and pop off this big piece on each end. I went ahead and put some painter's tape on the edge of my trim tool. And then to release the lower grill, I pry it on each side. And then we've got the sides popped out. Now we're just going to pop out the centers. So I'm just going to slowly start tightening back by hand. Carefully release those clips. Make sure they all stay on. Just like that. And then we've got that entire bottom piece off of the grill which is going to expose the two 10 millimeter bolts. Same thing here, I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter on the impact, slide it down, and release each bolt on each side. Just like that, I'm going to set these back and set them aside. And now that we've got all those bolts off, we can slowly start to lift up on the tabs at the top, just pull the drill towards us, back it off like that, and then I'm going to bring you all closer so I can show you how to disconnect the Ford Emblem's washer and the camera. So on the back side of the grill, before we completely take it off, there's a little windshield wiper. You have to release that black clip to the side on each way, and then just pull it off, set it aside, and then down a little bit further, you've got this brown sensor for the camera. Press in on the plug for it and release it back just like that. And now we can take the grill off all the way. Now that we've unplugged the camera and undid the wiper, we can go ahead and just lift off the grill and set it aside and put these lights in. And now with the grill set aside, I'm going to show you how easily these bars just slide right between the slots perfectly on each end. And then from the back side, we're going to add the brackets and nuts to hold them down. And just to show you all a little bit closer, I went ahead and just barely slid over that pl plastic trim again just to show you how perfect the light bar fits in and just how flush it fits to the edge to match up with your headlight. And then carefully I'm just going to lay in the other bar as well, right along the slots, and then we're going to grab the wire and tuck it under through the grill. 
Now we can grab our brackets and hardware, and we're just going to slide over the spacer bracket first, and then add a nut to each of the bolts. And we're just going to do a hand tight for now, and then we'll flip the drill over and just run them down barely with the ratchet till they're tight. So as you can see, just slide the bracket over. Same thing on the back bar, you can see it just slides perfectly over that groove. And over here as well, you can just see how it fits between the grill like that, and then we add that bracket to hold on to that support. And before we flip it over to the back side, you just want to make sure you have it as close to this grill's edge as possible, so it lines up with the headlight perfectly. But now I'm just going to go ahead and carefully flip our grill over to the back side. And now with the grill flipped over, as you can see, that bracket right there bolts down between the support on each of the sides. And that allows you to completely clamp them down on the grill to securely secure them all the way around perfectly. And now we're just going to go ahead and just tighten them all up real quick with the ratchet very carefully so we don't break anything and then wire them together. Run it down by hand first then just give it a little bit of tightness. Doesn't need much at all. I mean all we're holding on to is the plastic so you just got to be careful with it. Just like that. It's good to go. And the bar won't move. Doesn't need to be very tight. I mean, look, that just right there is shaking the entire grill from barely tightening it down. So let's repeat that. Just like that, we got our last ones tightened up. And now with the light bars all mounted into place and ready to go, each lead at the end of each bar has a red and a black wire. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab each lead and wire them together, red to red and black to black. So we can go ahead and get our ground to one wire and then our power lead to one wire to mount to our auxiliary switch or to our own separate switch. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back a little bit and strip it. So just like that, as you can see, I've got all the wires stripped back and now I'm just going to attach both reds together and both blacks together with some solder. I went ahead and just used some of the heat shrink solder connectors and we're going to add about six foot of wire to the power and about three foot or two foot to the ground. Now I've got our power lead, the long one, and our ground lead, the shorter one, all wired together and I went ahead and electrical taped it. And we're just going to go ahead, hide these wires around the side, zip tie them up, and we're going to reinstall the grill and run our power and our ground. Now that I've got the grill assembly all wired up, I want to go ahead and reinstall it in the truck. First thing I'm going to do is reclip that washer and wiper back in, and then plug our sensor back in for the camera as well. And then we're going to just go gently. Line it up, make sure all your wires are facing the top of the grill and ready to go in. And we're just going to slowly start clipping it into place just like that. Now we can fasten our top six 10 millimeter bolts, the two nuts from the back side, our two bolts on the bottom, and then put our painted piece back on the bottom and then wire up the grill. So first things first, let's make sure this grill isn't going anywhere and let's start these 10 millimeter bolts. Tighten the rest of the 10 millimeter bolt. Just like that, all of our six top bolts are in. Now I can grab the two back nuts and the quarter inch ratchet with the 10 millimeter and tighten these back ones up from the back side. Get back in there with the ratchet. Let's get them tight enough. Basically, just repeating the same process from the removal. Super easy install guys, you can do this yourself at home, you don't need to take your truck into the shop to get these installed. Just follow along with this video, just like I'm showing you, anyone can do it. Just like that, I'll tighten it up. Then our two lower bolts, also 10 millimeters. Go ahead, line it up. Run them down. Same process. That they're ready to go, and now we can carefully grab our bottom plastic. And you're going to see how well this fits in with the grill lights. And we're just going to line it up just like that. We put each end, put them in just like that, clips right into place. Now that the grill lights are all mounted, you can see how perfectly they line up with the headlights for this Lariat style grill. Really can't get any better than that for this grill. And now we're just going to go ahead and run our two power wires. I wired my two 14 inch kits separate than the full length, so I'm going to have two power wires and we're just going to run them along the top right here. 
to the passenger side. And then on the passenger side, we have this fuse box right here. We're gonna go ahead and press those two tabs on the side in. Kinda hard to do with one hand. And then underneath that fuse box panel, you're gonna have your auxiliary switches with the list on them, and we're just gonna tap into those. And then for the ground cable, I just go ahead and loosen the 10 millimeter bolt on the hood latch release, and you can run your ground wires right there. And also now that we've got all the wires ran, we can just carefully go ahead and set our top cover in and put all of the push pins back into place for it as well, just like that. And in my case on this truck, I actually have the Switch Pro system that I can use off my phone. So I went ahead and just wired each of our light bars into the Switch wires for the Switch Pros. Now I'm going to get it all electrical taped up and tucked in. And guys, now finally we've got the brew lights all set into place. Let's go ahead and close the hood now and test to see if, if everything's wired up properly and see how these lights look. And guys, if you don't like the full length option, we also have the 414 inch kit on the website as well. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this coming soon, and I'll see y'all next time.